Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. We will put Kiki Jiki on top. Start the combo. Copy, copy. Copy. Here come the snoops. Here come the snoops. <laughs> copy. 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 Oh, this combo's good. Copy. Hello, everyone. It's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Much Brew About Nothing. And today, we're testing out goblins, M21 goblins in the modern format, seeing if the new set and a certain card from the new set, Conspicuous Snoop, is going to revitalize the goblin archetype, make it a real legit threat in the format. Goblins, a competitive deck already, but now it gets a oops, I win on turn three, two card combo thanks to Conspicuous Noob. So let's talk about the deck, jump right into a league, see how good this deck actually is. So the big reason to be excited about this Goblin deck, and Goblins in general, is Conspicuous Snoop, this new Goblin that is a fine value to drop letting us play Goblins off the top of our deck. More importantly, as long as we have a Goblin on the top of our deck, Conspicuous Snoop has all of its activated abilities, which is how we can go infinite on turn three. So the idea is, turn two, play Snoop. Turn three, we play Bogart Harbinger, which lets us tutor a Goblin to the top of our deck we will tutor Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker, a, a goblin that can tap to make a token copy of a non-legendary creature with haste to let it turn. Uh, so we tutor that to the top of our deck. This gives us a conspicuous snoop that can tap to copy itself. So we take our first snoop, we tap it, we make a copy, then we tap the copy to make a copy, then we tap a copy to make a copy. The end result is we're going to make an infinite number of tapped snoops. We will have one untapped copy. The last copy will be untapped. We use that copy to copy Bogart Harbinger and put Sling Gang Lieutenant tenant on the top of our deck, which is a goblin that has an activated ability where we could sack a goblin to drain our opponent for one, so that we just sack all the snoops to themselves and drain our opponent out of the game. So basically, turn two snoop, turn three harbinger, that is a two card instant win combo, uh, as long as our combo pieces survive. That's what we're going for. We also have a couple of backup plans. If we can't win with Sling Gang Lieutenant, for some reason, we draw all of them. Mog Fanatic replaces it. We can sack our goblins to ping for one, so basically does the same thing. Cranko Mob Boss is like the backup 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 plan if our opponent has like Ley Line of Sanctity and we can't actually ping our opponent. We can use Cranko's activated ability, which taps to make a number of 1-1 goblin tokens equal to the number of goblins we control. So if we make infinite snoops, then we tap Cranko go to make like a million 1-1 goblins and just trust we can win by beating down the next turn. We also have a ton more tutors and ways to find our goblins, along with Harbinger, which is one of our main combo pieces. Goblin Matron just tutors a goblin, like Snoop perhaps, into our hand. Ringleader grabs all the goblins from our top four cards when it comes into play, so we can grind and go long and tutor up our pieces. We also have another backup combo with our Persist goblins. Uh, one copy each of Putrid Goblin and Murderous Redcap. Both have Persist, which means if they die, they come back into play with a nation negative one, negative one counter. Well, if we could also get Grum Gully the Generous on the battlefield, which when a non-human comes into play, we put a plus one, plus one counter on it. This means that we basically make infinite putrid goblins or murderous red caps. They die, they come back into play. The plus one, plus one counter negates the negative one, negative one counter so they can die again, come back into play. If we add Slinging Lieutenant as a sack outlet or even Skirk Prospector, if we have murderous red cap into the mix to keep sacking them, that's another way that we can combo off and win the game. Otherwise, Munitions Expert, Removal Goblin. Goblin Chieftain. Being a Lord can be fine. Sometimes we do try to go beatdowns, but mostly to give our team haste. So that allows us to use Conspicuous Snoop right away and start the combo on, like, turn five or whatever. Ether Vial to cheat our goblins into play. A bunch of lands, including Cavern to fight through counter spells. Sideboard, mostly focused on unfair matchups uh, with Chalices and Dampeak Spheres and Relics. But we get a couple of Artifact or Colorless Spell destroying goblins, some Boils for Control, Legion Death is Removal, and that is Combo Goblins. Snoop Goblins. Goblins for Bonnard. That's our bunch of brew deck for this week. So let's jump into a league. See if Snoop Goblins, Combo Goblins, can compete in the format. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all enjoy it. And I'll be back in a bit with a wrap up. Looking for some new Corset 2021 cards? Well, you can get them from our sponsor, Card Kingdom. Card Kingdom has Corset 2021 up for pre sale now. And you can check it out over at CardKingdom.com. All right much brew about nothing time it is uh, do we even keep this we are on the play and yeah, we'll keep it hopefully our opponent's on a creature deck where we can snipe down some stuff with these munition experts we are combo goblining in in modern also we could just draw snoop and uh win on turn three that would be possible we wouldn't mind that 
<laughs> uh, but that would be that would be even greater. We have the Harbinger. We just need just need Snoop. Uh, well, land go. Not a super fast star, although we're really not a aggro goblin deck. We're more like mid-range card advantage slash combo goblin deck. So we're not trying to like slam one drops and go to town. Opponent, burning us. Burning us, perhaps. Arid music cracked. Ooh, blood crypt, all right. Untapped. Oh boy, it's dredge. All right, well, we got a lot of sideboard cards for this. I think our main goal is going to be to set up the combo. That is how we can potentially beat Dredge. Well, we will play Skirk Prospector, Wooded Foothills, pass the turn. Opponent, all right, no Dredger yet. I mean, our infinite combo does beat our opponent's deck if we can assemble it in time. Opponent mills, no Dredger, no Dredger. That is a small win until our opponent plays land in Cathartic Reunion. <laughs> Ooh, Hardcast Gary Thug, okay, that is... The best of news. We'll grab a stomping ground. Well, things might be shaping up. Red cap. Well, we will just anti subble reveal Harbinger. Harbinger. Grab Snoop. Pass the turret. <laughs> Definitely not attacking. All right, no dredger. No dredger. No dredger. No dredger. No dredger. <laughs> Shriekard fails. I mean, dredge is not going to beat us hard casting their stuff. They got to get a dredge. We are not blocking this Golgari thug. No, no, no. Opponent passes. Well, so if we, well, uh, we'll see. We get to play Snoop. See what's on top of our deck. Another Snoop. Well, we will Cavern on Goblin. Snoop number two. And a land on top. All right. Uh, we'll just pass. No attacks. So now what we need is Kiki Jiki on the top of our deck, just randomly. That would be, that would be great. Or another Harbinger to get Kiki Jiki on top of our deck. Either of those are spectacular. Opponent's gonna shock themselves so they can hard cast something. Smiting Hex on a Snoop. All right. Sure. That's interesting. That's not something you usually see in goblins. Well, if they can just keep... Oh, I guess we should have sacked that, shouldn't we have? Grum Gully on top. All right. Play Grum Gully. Yeah, we definitely should have sacked it. anti Hovel. Reveal a Munition Expert. And yeah, let's just pass. So this is kind of a sweet place to be in. If our opponent doesn't kill Snoop, then we still have Snoop going. If they do kill Snoop, then we can win with our backup Grum Gully combo, potentially. So opponent's going to kill the Snoop. Well, this time we will correctly sacrifice it to not let our opponent gain the life. And opponent... Well, we'll see. Opponent needs another removal spell, or we just win with our back. Oh, this is not the Snoop combo, but the backup combo is good. One, two, three, four. Murderous red cap. Do you have another removal spell? Hit your face. Prospector sack murderous red cap. Hit your face. And opponent sees the combo, knows the combo, dies to the combo. Well, I guess Snoop was still beneficial there. Like, Snoop drew our opponent's focus uh, to the Snoop combo and drew it away from Grum Gully, just backdooring into combo number two, which is not our main plan, but we have so many tutors that it's not that hard to accidentally set up, like, the, the Grum Gully combo even uh, with a single copy. So, well, I will also say we got incredibly lucky. We got incredibly lucky because our opponent just straight up, straight up whiffed on... <laughs> <laughs> on uh, on Million Dredger, which worked in our favor. That was Dredge at its absolute worst. Uh, all right, so we get the Relic of Progenitus's. We'll go down... Hmm. We can go down, like, a Munitions Expert. We can go down... Maybe Mog Fanatic? And... Uh, what else? We need to cut one more of something. And maybe it's just a ringleader. That's fine. Let's try it like that. All right. Well, I mean, that kind of worked. Our hand was not super great to start, but goblins have so many tutors and so many combos now. Come on, Relic of Progenitus in our opening hand. Please, magic gods. <laughs> That's what we'd like to... So I think our two plans here, either we want a Relic in our opening hand or we want a hand that suggests that we can combo quickly. Uh, well, okay, so we do not have a relic in our opening hand, but we have a hand where if our opponent doesn't have removal and we draw a land, we just get to go infinite on turn three. So that seems good. I mean, we got 
Snoop and Harbinger, which is, I mean, that's a plan. All we need is a land. Blessing and Meyer for our opponent. Oh, come on. Let's see some more whiffs with uh, <laughs> with the self-mill plan. Opponent gets a blood crypt. Tree cord. Well, stomping grounds tapped. Unfortunately, that's not a land, but pass the turn. Come on. Keep whiffing. Keep whiffing. Opponent. Tree cords. No dredger. Again. One more. One more. Keep the bad luck going. Yes. Still no dredger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our poor opponent. I mean, I don't really feel bad for that, but... Uh-oh. Cathartic reunion. Discarding dredgers. Yeah. All right. Well, opponent dredges. Hits a silver smoke in a creeping chill. Okay. So, opponent's getting back two silver smotes, which is not great. We, we need a land, and our opponent did not hit removal. Silver smotes return. That's not a land. Well, cavern on goblin. Snoop. Please land, please land, please land on top. Oh, Relic! A tiny bit too late. Yeah, so this means we don't get to combo next turn. Yeah, this is actually really bad. Opponent, did they hit another... Did they hit another dredger? That is the biggest question. Opponent, combat. Gets in, hits us. They don't even attempt to dredge. We drop to 11. Golgari Thug hard cast. We untap. Well, play 367. Play Relic. Pass the turn. Well, I think we just take our beats and hope that we go infinite next turn. Opponent's going to mill. Prized amalgam, no dredger. All right, so I guess there's no reason to crack the relic yet. Opponent, gonna hit us for seven. Well, block, thug. We go to five. Opponent's gonna put merchant on top of their deck. Okay, thug. Well, we will crack relic, draw the land, untap, cavern on goblin. Harbinger, and we got him. Taking down Dredge. Harbinger, and Paul scoops it up. They know the combo. Taking down Dredge. Two different combos already, beating one of the most unfair decks in the format. Well, that was a turn four kill. It should have been the turn three kill, and that shows what this combo is all about and the power of this combo. Like, just having a decent goblin deck that could just luck into a fast combo kill on turn three, that is pretty powerful, and it gives us a chance. Like, if we were playing a slower combo, there's a pretty decent chance our opponent was going to beat us with these silver smotes and with these dredge creatures, but the fact that we were able to combo quick, uh, quickly was basically what shifts these unfair matchups. Like, a turn three combo kill, then all of a sudden you're looking at, like, fast enough to race Tron, might maybe fast enough to race Storm, maybe fast enough to race Dredge, maybe, which is just a huge deal, but, yeah, that was good. I mean, so, just so it's clear what would have happened, in case, in case uh, you haven't seen this combo, we we're going to Use Bogart Harbinger, put Kiki Jiki on top of our attack. Uh, then we can use Snoop as Kiki Jiki to copy itself, uh, get a token copy, copy itself, get a token copy. After we make uh, 100 copies, or actually only 18 is all we need, uh, but after we make a bunch of copies, then we copy the Harbinger again with our last untap Snoop, put our Sling Gang Lieutenant on top of our deck. Then we just sack all of our Snoops to drain our opponent out of the game with Sling Gang's ability, so that's a combo. That's a win. Go, go, Cablo, Goblin. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are combo goblin zing in modern. And, well, this is not a very combo y hand at the moment, but it is a goblin y hand. And that's one of the, the upsides of this deck is we can just win fairly. Uh, how do we want to do this? Let's just unclaim territory on goblin. Ether vile. Go. Let's see what our opponent's up to. Copperline Gorge, and passing. Well, we'd like to find tutors and snoops, mostly. That's what we really want. Take, ooh, Kiki, hmm, interesting. Uh, well, we will reveal a Skirk Prospector. We will play the Skirk Prospector. Drawing Kiki's not the best. We'd rather have that in our deck, but opponent. Oh, boy, more dredging. All right. Haggles, Stinkweed, Narcomoeba, and Prized Amalgam. And they hit another dredger. Well, that Hagel went well for our opponent. Yeah. Well, it gets back Bryce Malgum. Opponent untaps. Dredges. Combat. Opponent gets and hits us. We will take it. Down to 16. Mountain for the... Oh, dear. What kind of start is our opponent off to here? Gets a Bloodgast. Gets another prize. Well, this is going to be tough. Do they also have Cathartic Reunion? Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> Mills and Ox. Creeping. Two creeping chill. Oh, so, uh, uh. All right. Well, that's uh, that's not 
good for us. Well, I mean, apparently Dredge is popular at the moment. We do have some graveyard hate in our sideboard, but this one is... I don't know how we can possibly get out of this. I don't know if we can actually get out of this in any possible way. Well, we will put Mog Fanatic into play. Opponent gets another prized amalgam. We untap. We take up our vial. <laughs> we draw more vials. Uh, we will play another vial. Yeah, this one, we're, we're just... Yeah, we're just super dead. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what Dredge could do when they have <laughs> a good Dredge start. Huh. Maybe we need more than four, uh, three pieces of graveyard hate if Dredge is, Dredge is the deck. So we will go uh, up the relics, go down Mog Fanatic, go down a ringleader, and go down a munitions expert. So as we talked about last time we played Dredge, our plan is simple. We either need the fast combo kill to just out goldfish dredge or relic. Those are the things we're looking for in our opening hand. So like conspicuous snoops with harbinger or a relic. Those are those are our two our two plans that can uh that can allow us to potentially win this game, this matchup. Yeah, maybe we need more relics. Or like ley lines or something. Or maybe it's just odd that we've played dredge twice in a row. Alright, so we get to play first and Okay, we got a relic. That is on our approved list. So, anti Hovel, Skirk Prospector, Relic. Pass the turn. Well, at least we could try to fight against Dredge, thanks to Relic. Put it. And with Matron and Ringleader, it's not impossible that we can... Opponent Shriekhorns. It's not impossible that we can uh, set up our combo. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. New plan. Uh, second Relic. Unclaimed Territory on Goblin. Pass the turn. Now, well, let's see what our opponent dredges. Remember, Mills. Creeping Chill Shriekhorn. Sure. Um, well, let's exile. Opponent hits a Dakmore Selvage. Exile. I think we're going to let our opponent dredge Dakmore Selvage. It's only dredge two. They hit a Thug and a Lightning Axe. But unless our opponent can get more cards in the graveyard, we get to exile both. Well, okay, they can. Opponent, Scalding Tarns. So now we are probably going to have to exile at some point. We draw Blood Crypt. Well, exile. So opponent can crack Scalding Tarn as a buffer. Exile. Unfortunately, this means we do need to leave up mana. Wow, they just let the Thug go. Interesting. Well, we still need to leave up mana. So we'll play Skirk Prospector. Blood Crypt tapped. Pass the turn. Opponent cracks. Stomping grounds tapped. All right, opponent. What do you mill? What do you mill? Nothing. That's good. Bloodstained Mire. Cracks it. Are we to the hard cast Tinkweed Imp part of the game? That is my favorite part of the game. Huh? Or Bloodgast, I guess. Also counts. All right. Opponent passing. Well, exile. Exile. Play Matron. Tutor up. I think we just go Snoop. Yeah, Tutor up Snoop. anti Hovel. Reveal Snoop. Pass the turn. Not going to sack our stuff to play Snoop this turn. We're going to leave up our relics for defense. But I like the position we're in. Drawing two relics is exactly where you want to be against Dredge. And now we can start working towards Snoop combos. Opponent gets in, hits us. Sure. We'll take it to 15. City of Brass. Ooh, is this Narcomoeba? Yes. Yes, cast that Narcomoeba. Cast it. Ooh. Not Narcomoeba. Three mana. Hard cast price and Malgum. Sure. Uh, well, we untap. Exile, exile, play Snoop, top card's a land, play Skirk Prospector, Blood Crypt, tapped. All right, so next turn is the turn where we might be able to win. We get to play stuff off the top of our library. We also have Ringleader to go digging. And this fetch land is not that bad because it can change the top card of our deck. Opponent's going to get in and hit us for t uh, 5 to 10. We'll just take it. We want our goblins for sacrifice purposes uh, because we might need mana if we need to Ringleader and Bilgart Harbinger. Opponent plays the land. Oh, Bloodstained Mire. Crack it down to 9. Shuffle. So we need Kiki on the top of our deck. We need Bogart Harbinger. Another mountain. So we will play Ringleader. Ringleader, Matron, Matron. Uh, the question is, how far do we go? We could get blown out if we just go for it. 
Let's just wait a turn. Let's wait a turn. Play it carefully. I don't think our opponent can kill us from nine with two relics up. So if we go all in on Snoop and then our opponent can kill the Snoop, that makes things a lot, lot harder. All right, opponent untaps, draws, Scalding Darn. Opponent goes to combat, attacks. Well, we will block and block. We don't want to get too close to creeping chill range. Uh, build it. Ox of Agonis. Okay. Discards. Wow, interesting. Um, well, activate Relic. Opponent discarded a Lightning Axe, which they could need. Exile, Exile. Untap. Goblin Matron. Uh, Tutor Up Harbinger. I mean, we're going for the combo. We'll see if it works. Get Bogart Harbinger. Play Harbinger. All right, opponent. Did you draw another answer? We will put Kiki Jiki on top. Start the combo. Copy, copy, copy. Here come the snoops. Here come the snoops. <laughs> copy, 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 copy. Oh, this combo's good. Copy, copy, copy. Oh, I don't like how they're jumping around. That's scaring me a little bit. Copy. So we need to make enough that we just kill our opponent. I think we're getting close. We don't want to have to sacrifice any real goblins. And the more that we make, the more mana we can make. So let's just, we should go, I mean, our opponent can scoop at any time. So there's no reason to not keep going. I like that this combo doesn't take that many clicks. All right, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, let's, I guess this is, I guess this should be good enough. So make a bunch of snoops, like 20 would be ideal. And then we copy Bogart Harbinger. Harbinger, yes please, gets us Sling Gang Lieutenant. And we sack him, opponent sees the win condition, scoops it up, and that's a combo. We drew our graveyard hate, and that was enough that time. Huh, <sighs> okay. I mean, the combo's good. I'm still a little scared about Dredge and how fast it can be. We saw in game one, if Dredge is like on the play and they just have that, that start where it's like turn one, start dredging even our relics can be too slow in that scenario if there's any good news it's that they don't have that much interaction so our ability to combo if we just happen to draw our combo pieces it's pretty high because dredge doesn't play that much interaction so that might be our best bet well we're gonna we're gonna try it if our opponent has the nut draw we lose with two relics on the other hand we got a snoop we got two relics about it well we'll see scalding tarn Passing. Oh, not passing. Cracking. Stomping grounds. Oh, these are some big mills. Cavern. Goblin. Relic. Well, this is the question. How far ahead can our opponent get this turn? Next turn, we can exile the graveyard. Yeah, you can see the play draw difference. The question is, how far ahead can they get this turn with their dredging and milling? Opponent, no dredger. Okay. Also very scary, like Cathartic Reunion. Opponent, upkeep. No dredger. Hits an ox, but not a dredger. So they're getting two blood gas if they have a land at a minimum. Oh, 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 oh. what do they got? What do they got? Okay, they have the land. So here comes two blood gas. Even that is not great for us, especially since we only have one land. Opponent passes. Land, please. Harbinger. So we have the full combo. We don't have the lands to cast it, though. So we're going to pass the turd. I'm actually a little bit scared about where we're at now, opponent. Untaps. Shriekhorns. Hits a narc amoeba. Well, I think we're just going to do this now. Can we draw land? No. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Not like this, opponent. We really need to hit lands. Gets in, hits us. Down to 16. Mountain. Cracks it. Blood Crypt, Untapped, Thug, Land, Land. Okay, Anti's Hovel, Reveal, how are we doing this? I mean, I think we just gotta go for it. Reveal Snoop, play Snoop. We could play Graveyard Hate, but I think we gotta go for the win. Run out Snoop, pass the turn. Prospector on top, okay, that's not a land. Opponent, Combat, we're not gonna block the Thug for sure. Hits us, we will take it. Down to 11. We untap. Oh, play Prospector. Play Relic. Exile the land. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Combat. Hits us. Ugh. Block the thug. It goes on the top of our opponent's deck. 
So we know they're drawing a dead thug next turn. We're at seven. Do we go for it? That is the question. If our opponent kills the Snoop, what happens? Do we just lose? Do we win still? We will have to shock ourselves to five. I mean, no fear. We could also play the removal game and like kill blood gas. We know our opponent's drawing the thug. Wow. Ugh, I don't know what to do. Let's stoppy grouds tapped. I think we're gonna go with the munitions expert plan. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps, they draw the thug that we know about. Combat, attack, so we black red. Munitions expert off the top. Thanks to Snoop, kill a blood ghast. Exile a blood ghast. Kill a blood ghast. There's the thug. Vote it passes. Exile blood ghast. And now we're definitely going for it. We're definitely going for it. If you got the answer, you got the answer. One, two, three. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Harbinger. Resolves. Kiki Jiki. To the top. Start the combo. Got him? Are we just the dredge acids? Snoop, 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 snoop. <laughs> Oh, says it's nice to have it all. It is nice to have it all. And uh, it is nice to beat Dredge. <laughs> wow! Combo Goblins. And uh, yeah, that was that was pretty good. Snooping our way to victory. <laughs> Maybe this deck's legit. Hmm, sweet. Sweet, sweet. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are snooping around in modern Snoop Goblins. Uh, combo Goblins. And hopefully we avoid dredge. <laughs> uh, okay, this sounds great. Uh, we're, I mean, depending on what our opponent does and what interaction they have, we are set up to win on turn three. Turn one's Prospector, turn two Snoop. Turn three, worst case, we can sack Prospector for Harbinger. So, I mean, this is, other than being on the draw, like this is exactly the kind of hand that we want to hopefully win with of course our opponent can kill snoop so that is the drawback but we'll see see what our opponent's up to bone it scalding tarn all right so they could have interaction for sure uh cavern on goblin and skirk prospector go stomping grounds for our opponent untapped and oh my god it's dredge again <laughs> Oh my god, it's Dredge again. <laughs> I wish we played some different matchups, but... I mean, I guess the good news is... Dredge doesn't have that much interaction, so... The possibility of us just winning on turn three is... Fairly high. Like, they have a little bit sometimes, but... Mountain. I guess Cathartic Reunion dredging over Conflagrate would be... The worst. Alright, Loam's back some lands. Well, we'll see. Pwn passes. We play Unclaimed Territory on Goblin. We play Snoop, Moggy Mog, and uh, pass a turn. Ringleader on top. All right, well, let's see what our opponent can do. They need to kill the Snoop or, I guess, kill us, which seems unlikely. So, mostly kill the Snoop. Opponent gets an Arkham even a prized amalgam. That's fine. That doesn't stop our combo. Uh, booted. Combat. Hits us. Sure, sure, sure. Down to 19. And Scalding Tarn cracks it. Tap land. Come on. Loan back some lands. Loan back some lands and tap out. Ho! All right. So that's game. Opponent gets prize amalgam. That's fine. We will play unclaimed territory on Goblin. I guess we can play the Harbinger off the top. <laughs> Make our opponent think that we're super lucky when we actually have one in hand. Uh, yeah. Harbinger. That will find us Kiki Jiki. And now we snoop it up. <laughs> copy, 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 copy. Keep doing this for a bit. Opponent's at 15. So we need at least 15 copies of Snoop. Boy, this deck's good. This deck's... This deck, I mean, it would be nice to play a non-dredge deck sometime, but apparently we're good against dredge because we keep beating them. And I think that's not necessarily true in the past, that this deck, that goblins would be fast enough to, to beat dredge. Um, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, so now we copy Harbinger. We get, um, Sling Gig. And now we Sack. And Pwn it. Gives us GG's. And... 
<laughs> I mean, we have not had a diversity of matchups, that is for certain, but we have been absolutely assassinating dredge players with goblins, <laughs> which I think in some ways is good because I think that, I think that it is exceedingly unlikely, uh, do we want Legion's End? I think it's it's fine without it. We've been doing fine without it so far. Um, traditionally, these are matchups that are that are not good for goblins. Unfair matchups. Like that is the matchups that you struggle in. So, whew. all right, we're gonna keep this. We have our relic. The only downside is pony is on the play. So if they can go off on turn one, relic might not be enough to save us. All right, opponent plays Forgotten Cave. I think we actually just. How do we do this? Bloodstained Mire, crack it. Get a mountain. And we're actually just going to vile. We have our, our goblin mountain. We're going to vile this turn because Relic is not going to be able to save us anyway. So we just got to hope to fade. Like, Cathartic Reunion is the worst. Oh, boy, here it is. Well, let's see how devastating this is. Cathartic Reunion discards a dredger and a prized amalgam. Dredge... Oh, dredge and whiff. Oh, that is... That is exactly what we were hoping for. Oh boy, that's perfect. Okay, now we get to defend ourselves, and we have Vile to tick up. Vile, tick it up. Yes, please. Uh, we will play Relic. Wooded Foothills. Crack it. Get a mountain. Exile, and pass. All right. Well, that's where we wanted to be. That's exactly what we wanted. Unfortunately, we have Kiki Jiki in hand, which isn't great, but... Uh, Poonions. Loams, back some land. Sure. Copper line, George. And opponent, passing. I'll take up Vile. I think we're going to wait and Vile and Snoop on our opponent's end step. Ooh, Matron. Well, we can't Matron yet. This might set us up to win next turn, though. Um, Let's play Ether Vile. Anti's Hevel tapped? We're not going to need the mana. Yeah, Anti's Hevel tapped. Pass the turn. So all we want is our opponent to tap out, and we get to put... Snoop into play on our opponent's end step. Untap, take up Vile. Hard cast Goblin Matron to get to get Harbinger, and then Harbinger for the win. So that is that is our game plan. Our opponent's removal could mess it up. So that's why we'd prefer our opponent tapping out if we had the choice. Opponent, all right, it looks like they're not going to tap out. Well, we might as well exile something. Vile in Snoop. Ooh, another Relic on top. We like that untap tick up tick up oh do we go for the win so we draw relic oh let's let's wait one more turn we can prospector cavern of souls on goblin oh, i really just want to play another let's just play another relic this is this is by far the safest plan so relic exile opponent cracks i mean maybe we can go for it exile I mean, if they could kill Snoop, they would have done it, right? Or no? Go to combat, attack. Uh, so what we could do is... Uh, there's too much tapping out. Yeah, we're going to pass. We're going to pass. I don't really want to go for the combo right now, because it requires not leaving up relics, and relics are so good. Okay, I think that's good enough to eat a relic. And we got the GGs. Didn't even need the combo. Dredge Assassins. We are the Dredge Assassins. <laughs> I don't know if this will be the most entertaining video of us just crushing Dredge on repeat. Apparently that's where Modern's at, but apparently we're going to get Dredge because we keep crushing them. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Sweet. Oh, not today, Dredge. Not today. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are Snoop Goblin-ing in Modern, and eh, we'll keep this. I mean... We got the Snoop, which means nut draws are available. Oh, it is not gob uh, it is not Dredge for the first time ever. Uh, Wooded Foils, crack Wooded Foils. Snag, so it looks like humans. Snag a land, Ether Vile, go. Well, now we need a Harbinger. Uh, boot it. Unclaimed territory. Um, I guess, okay, it is humans, on humans. And Freebooter, that's a whiff. Sure. Opponent does get a peek at our hand, but... So I think we just slam Snoop, even though it means shocking ourselves. Also, take up Vile, of course. Vile up to one. Come on, Harbinger. Vile. Actually, maybe we just play a Vile. Snoop isn't doing anything this turn anyway. Play a Vile, play a Blood Crypt, pass the turn. So our dream is that when we put Snoop into play with Ether Vile, 
Harbinger is the top card of our deck. That would equal us winning the game next turn. If the game goes long, two vials is going to be sweet. And we can kind of grind. The only downside is we're not especially good at stopping flying creatures. So if our opponent can start Mantis riding and so forth, that is a relatively fast clock that might be tough to deal with. Opponent, Hierarch, sure. And a Snow Covered Plains. And a Meddling Mage. Nah, that's fine. We can put stuff into play with Vile anyway. Like, do you even name Snoop? All right, name's Lieutenant. Hits us for two. Sure. Well, take up the Vials. Prospector. Well, we will Vile and a Snoop. Top card is a land. Well, play a Snoop. Play a tap land. Pass the turn. Well, now the search for Harbinger continues. Uh, opponent? Mantis Rider? All right, there's Mantis Rider. Okay, and Noble Hierarch. Well, we have a... Uh, and a land. We still have a decent shot of winning this turn. Opponent hits us for five. We take it. We put Prospector into play. We untap. Take up both files. So we get to use Ringleader to try to find Harbinger to win. Take up, take up. Another Snoop on top. We don't really need the Snoop, so we will Bloodstain Mire, crack Bloodstain Mire down to 11. Get a Mountain, Grum Gully. All right. Well, one, two, three, four. Ringleader. Okay, there's Harbinger. And that should do it. So we get both. The rest go to the bottom. Violin Harbinger for Kiki Jiki. And Snoop it up. And opponent knows what's happening. And apparently we can beat non-dredge decks as well. Turn four, just take down the humans. Pretty sweet and easy. <laughs> Maybe this deck is just really good. Maybe it's just really good. Well, we'll bring in Legion's End, Crater Maker, and basically trust that our deck is good against what our opponent's doing. Uh, we'll trim a Ringleader and maybe the Cranko, right like that. Whoo! Wow, is this deck just, like, really good? I mean, Goblins is already good against fair decks. That's already Goblins' wheelhouse, is just outgrinding other fair decks. You get the rate leaders, you get all the tutors, like, that's where Goblin wants to be. If we can also crush the unfair decks, like, Dredge a million times, uh, then you actually have a deck. You have, like, a pretty legit threat to the top tier of the modern meta. All right, so opponents on the play. They probably get a bit more removal after sideboarding. I guess we also get a bit more removal after sideboarding. Okay, so we got the full combo, but zero lands, so... <laughs> no lands, no keep, as a wise man once said. Uh, we will mulligan that. Ooh, all right. Well, we have the full combo and a land, and uh, one land, one keep. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. Put Slinging on the bottom, because we'd actually rather have that on the bottom of our deck. So we'd like to draw lands. Otherwise, we're trusting in Vile to do its thing. Eh, that is a land. So let's just Mountain and Aether Vile go. Uh, opponent, taking up. I mean, if we draw another land, we could just have the turn three combo kill, which would be pretty good. Cavern for our opponent on Human Champion. Ooh, another one. Two champions. Well, take up the Vile. Cavern on Goblin. Wow, do we just cast Snoop? That opens us up to all kinds of blowouts. Uh, yeah, let's wait. Pass the turn. See if our opponent vials anything. All right, so we will Munitions Expert. Kill a champion. All right, Noble Hire grows a champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Opponent untaps. Vile ticking up. Oh, rising canopy. And can Reflector Mage our munitions expert? Okay, we're okay with that. So Bonnet definitely has Reflector Mage. They just don't know if they want to cast it and try to go aggro or if they're going to try to wait and interact with our combo. All right, Bonnet's going to go aggro. They might end up regretting this. We'll see. So bounce munitions expert. Bonnet goes to combat. Unless they have another one, then they probably won't regret it. Hits us for five, down to 15. We untap. They could also have path, I guess, now that they have sideboarded. Take up the vial. Play. All right, let's think about this. Uh, let's Bloodstain Mire. Crack it for a mountain. Play Putrid Goblin. Put up some defense. Vial. Pass the turn. All right, so, I mean, if we get to violin Snoop at the end of turn and it doesn't 
die or get bounced, then we should be able to just win. Oh, opponent's going to Vile. Phantasmal image. Okay. This isn't lethal, though. All right. So opponent's got a top deck. They got a top deck. They had two Reflector Mages, essentially. Five, six, seven, eight, nine is not lethal. Opponent's going to crack Horizon Canopy, get a redraw. Well, I mean, this is it. Opponent gets two draws, but they cash in their white mana, which is actually pretty bad for our opponent because now they can't... Now they can't path unless they draw an actual white source. They also tap Noble Hierarch. They take up to three. All right. Well, do they draw another Reflector Mage off the top of their deck? That is the question. Opponent. Thalia's Lieutenant. Oh, wait. Can this be lethal? Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Well, hopefully they don't have a three drop human. We go to one. Well, Vile. In. Snoop. Untap. Take up our Vials. And combo you. Take it up. Take it up. Vile, Harbinger, for Kiki Jiki, and make some snoops. And that's game. Opponent almost got us. And we got the GGs. Whew. This deck's good. This deck's really good. Busted, busted, busted. We are just cruising through this league and crushing everyone. Not just Reg anymore. We're crushing everyone. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, uh, Godwoods. New tier one, maybe? Also, we're one game away from the 5-0. Hmm. Okay. Sweet. Kids are eating. Thanks to the Godwoods. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are... Ooh. Hmm. Jeez. We're going to keep this. <laughs> Let, if something goes wrong with this vial, we're in uh, a heap of trouble, but... Prospector can technically add mana. We have the Harbinger, so we're actually not super far away from just combo killing, even with one, one land. We have, yeah, we have basically everything we need, minus Snoop and hopefully a bit more mana. Although the mana is, like, somewhat manageable because of Prospector. We're probably going to need at least one more land, though. Well, come on, Goblins. Uh, yes, we only have Goblin, not Shaman. Magic online. Shame on you. Because we have we have Bogart Harbinger in hand, so apparently Shaman is a is an option. Well, what are we up against? Vote it. Anything but Dredge. Actually, maybe we should root for Dredge, and because apparently we beat it every time. Eh, Alright, not Dredge. Ancient Stirrings. Tron? Eldrazi Eldrazi? Mono Green Eldrazi? Alright, come on, land off the top, please. Well, we'll take up. Land? So, oh, Snoop. All right. Well, we will play Skirk Prospector. We will pass the turn. Oh, so next turn we can Violin Snoop and then Harbinger for the win? This might actually be working. Opponent. I mean, I guess we'll see what removal our opponent has. That's the biggest question. Another Ancient Stirring. It's a Thought Not Seer. And that's a little annoying because that can take a Harbinger and we can't actually stop it. So that's going to slow us down a bit. We will Violin a Skirk Prospector. Untap. Take up Vile. Oh, well, now we're good. Go to combat. Get in, hit ya. So now we're hoping our opponent just taps out for for the Thought Knots here, and then we win. Cavern. I mean, it's got to be tempting. How do you not play it? And game. Thought Knots here. Well, we will violin Snoop, Moggy Mog, and yeah. And good game. Let's see if our opponent knows they're dead when they see our hand. <laughs> this deck's so busted. It's so busted. Opponent, which Bogart Harbinger would you like to lose to? <laughs> Take the other. <laughs> you have a choice. There's agency here, opponent. You have you get to choose. <laughs> would you like to lose to this Bogart Harbinger or that Bogart Harbinger? <laughs> oh. Opponent goes with I mean I guess I guess uh it doesn't it doesn't matter what our opponent does. Opponent passes. I mean, this is just game, though. Our opponent might not realize it, but Aether Vial, take it up to three, draw the land. Does our opponent have, like, free interaction? So we will uh, play on claim territory on Goblin. We Violin Harbinger. Harbinger finds us Kiki, and now we snoop it up. Snoop, 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 just keep snooping. So make, we need at least 18 snoops. I don't even have the Eldrazi Temple, and still, not even especially close to being enough. I like how quick this combo is, too. This is way easier to click through than a lot of past infinite combos. Uh, so 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, so now we can 
Harbinger for Sling Gang Lieutenant, number two, and start the sacking. Sack you, sack you. An opponent knows what's happening, and nice try, Eldrazi. <laughs> Maybe we just broke modern. Maybe we just broke the format. All right, so opponents on Eldrazi, we don't have a whole lot, honestly. Maybe we bring in, like, Crate Maker. Maybe Trash Master. But I think we mostly are just, are just running it back and trying to do that again. How many artifacts can I have? Let's just bring in Crate Maker. Run it like that. I mean, we got the plan. We got the game plan. We don't even care that much about Chalice, uh, unless it comes down on one and stops Aether Vial, because we're actually playing Chalice. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I assume our opponent's going to try to bring in a little bit more removal. The good news is we can play fairly. Like, we're not the best fair goblin deck, but we could grind with ringleaders and do that. And this deck just, it's been absurd. It has been literally... Literally absurd, and I'm glad we played some non-dredge decks eventually, because I uh, I was afraid that we'd just play all dredge, and then that doesn't tell us a whole lot about the deck. Like, sure, you can beat dredge, which it, that is something, and it's great, but uh, I'm glad we ended up getting a little variety after our very dredgy start. Um, This is a really fair hand. Is it so fair that we just don't want to keep it? I think we're going to mulligan. Uh, this hand is better-ish. Um, hmm. Yeah, I guess we just put Blood Crypt to the bottom. All right. Well, go, go, Snoop. Mountain for our opponent. And passes. Uh, unclaimed territory on Goblin. And Aether Vile. Go. All right, there's Eldrazi Temple. Opponent. Pass it. And take up Vial. Hmm. Well, anti Hovel reveals Snoop. I think we just have to cast Snoop, even though it could definitely get bolted, but we don't have anything else going on. Well, Matron on top's fine. That's good. All right, so opponent kills our... Kills our Snoop. We are drawing Matron, though, so we can get another one. Our hand is relatively thought-not-proof. All right, opponent runs out Bone Crusher. Sure. Well, we will untap. We'll take up Vile to two. anti Hovel. Reveal Matron. Play Matron. Get a second Snoop. Pass the turn. <laughs> We're not that far away from the fair Kiki-Jiki, just hard-casting it and <laughs> copying Matron or something. Opponent. More lands. So I guess, like, Reality Smasher is a little scary. Although our opponent's got to be frightened of us just comboing off. So it'll be interesting to see if they even tap out or if they try really hard to leave up mana. I don't think we're going to chump this turn. Opponent combat gets and hits us. Yeah, down to 16. Well, Snoop Part 2, land on top. Ugh. All right, more Bone Crushers. Well, that's not good for us by any stretch. Um, yeah, take up the Vile. Play another vial. Unclaimed territory on Goblet. We are kind of fizzling here. Pass the turn. Opponent's going to have a big board. Well, we'll see. Opponent untaps. Bone Crusher part two. Goes to combat. Gets in. Hits us. Yeah. Down to 12. Well, untap. Hmm. Do we want to vial up to four? Yeah, let's go up to four. Actually, no. Let's stay at three. Hmm. The question is, what are we... Yeah, let's go up to four and take up this vial. We draw another Snoop. Well, play the Eyelet. Kiki Jiki. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. So we can Kiki the Matron to make a chump blocker and probably get Ringleader and vial it into play. All right, going to kill Kiki. Well, we will copy Matron. Oh, no. Whew! Okay. Well, now we almost certainly lose. <laughs> All right, so opponent had the full-on control hand. Yeah, that is, that is, that is really brutal. Yeah, I don't know if we can win now. Opponent hits us down to five. So opponent just had all the removal spells. That's interesting. Even if just the matron didn't die to the bolt, I think we are fine there. But because it did, we are very not fine. Wow. Oh my. Okay. Well. That is an interesting hand. Pony got us. Pony got us. Uh, but that is just the most removal heavy hand you could imagine. So let's uh, let's run it back. I think that's more just strange that our opponent had three bolts, two bone crushers, and a dismember, or maybe three bolts. Uh, whatever. They had about as much interaction as their deck could possibly muster. Uh, we'll play first. Um. 
All right, we'll keep this. Not especially close to comboing, but we got vials, we got some goblets, and this is a hand that can kind of go wide, which is nice after seeing the amount of targeted removal that is in our opponent's deck. Two vials is a little awkward, but unclaimed territory. Good thing is we're goblets, so we have some really nice sources of card advantage that we can hit, like ringleaders, or just chaining tutors can be helpful. Bona, grove the burn willows, and passin'. And, I mean, Snoop is also a really nice source of card advantage, potentially, if we find it. Take a Vial. Yeah, it's a Matron. Um, play a, another Vial. Blood Crypt tapped. Pass the turn. Do we have a Eldrazi Temple? Just a Forest. And a Braid. Well, we will. Vial and Prospector. Wouldn't mind just drawing a land. That would be sweet. Take a Vial. Land? Kiki. That's the opposite. I'll go to combat. Get in, hit ya. Well, now I guess we gotta play it slow for the time being. Pass the turn. Prismatic Vista for our opponent cracks it. Grabs a mountain. Ancient Stirrings goes digging. Finds Eldrazi Temple, so Eldrazi are coming for sure. Opponent passing. Come on, land, please. Take a vial. Okay, there's a land. So we get to unclaim territory on Goblet. Play Matron to tutor up Snoop. Pass the turn. Uh, actually, get in for one. We might be on the beatdown plan here. Get in, hit ya. Pass the turn. Eldrazi Temple. Mattery Shaper, that's acceptable. Opponent's passing. Well, we will Vile in... Yeah, it's Vile in Snoop. Eh, Chieftain on top. So opponent kills Snoop, but this is actually fine. Because we can go on our backup plan. We get to untap, take up Vile to three, play Vile in Chieftain, play Munitions Expert... Kill Mattery Shaper. Give our opponent a card. It is... A Bolt. All right. I'll go to combat. Hit you for eight. Opponent down to nine. Pass the turn. <laughs> what do you got, opponent? They need, like, a Wrath. Like, Anger of the Gods, I guess, would be really good. If they have it. Prismatic Vista. Cracks it. Mountain. Bone Crusher. Okay, that's fine. Bolts the Chieftain. Yeah. So we untap, we tick up Vile, we draw Prospector. Well, we Vile in, we play Prospector. Hmm. Yeah, we Vile in Sling Gang Lieutenant. Make some goblins. Sling Gang. Opponent might have this member in hand, and they're trying to figure out if they can, if they can use it. And GGs! That's a GGs! That's a 5-0! That's a 5-0! Snoop Goblins! Oh, man! We crushed it! <laughs> Whoa! That is 11 chests to open, and... Uh, okay. We absolutely... We, we crushed it. We beat the Unfair decks, Dredge, thrice. We beat Eldrazi with a ton of removal. We beat Humans by being the better Tribal deck, and... Yeah! I mean, I don't know how much more we can ask for. We just absolutely absolutely crushed it with combo goblins well let's crack open a, a bunch of treasure chests <laughs> a five o's worth of treasure chest <laughs> maybe we get some goodies maybe we get some some more goblins well that went very well very very well yeah crack them open one of 11 goblin chest tower of murmurs <laughs> Four mana, pay eight, tap it to mill eight. So bad. That is the worst of the towers, prob probably, and they're all pretty bad. Ten to go. We get new swamps. I do like that we're getting all these jumpstart uh, basics. Wish they had the old border, but really, some of the art's really sweet. So even though they're not valuable, I don't mind opening them because I'm sure we will be using them. Ooh, I, oh, I have Ugin. <laughs> At first I was excited, but... It's banned in so many formats. Is it actually worth anything on Magic Online? 64 cents. I mean, I think Legacy Eldrazi play it, but that's like a, a pretty fringe deck. Well, all right. Next, we get pretty sweet planes. Another Jumpstart planes. Sire of Insanity. <laughs> Good card to get people within Commander. Uh, not super valuable, though. So far, not much value. Give us a complete set. Eidolon of Countless Battles. Maybe, like, the third best Eidolon in Magic. <laughs> Fourth. Uh, we get 
Aw. I like collecting the all art cards, but Mothra's Great Cocoon is the lowest tier possible. That is a uh, Sweet Plains, though. Very, uh, very birdie. Got the feathers going. Uh, all right, five to go. So far, these have been bad chess. Hoof. Well, Hoof is probably valuable. At least somewhat. It's played in Legacy. It's played in Commander. Yeah. A dollar, dollar seventy. So not actually. <laughs> it's like forty, uh, fifty-five on paper. Blinding angel, demanding dragon. Yeah. Well, three. Come on, three more chances for something good. Come on, treasure chest. Ooh, bane of progress. That might be worth something. Unless it's been made very com uh, common. It was. Because commander cards are pretty rare on Moto, like the commander exclusive cards. Uh, Bane of Progress. Nope, it's a dollar. It was... It was expensive at one point. It was like $20, but they must have reprinted it a bunch. Uh, Glittering Wish doesn't have... Oh, all right, two more. Glittering Wish doesn't have much value. Thought Not Seer. Well, that's fitting, since we just, uh... We just defeated Thought Not Seer for our 5-0. I think that's worth something. Eldrazi are top tier at the moment. Uh, $7. So that's our best open. One more. One more chance for something great. We get... Magus of the Mirror. <laughs> like the 10th best Magus. Actually, maybe even lower than that. Bottom tier Magus is. Well, Chestnut Great. Good news is the deck was legit. Like super duper, really legit. We just crushed the field. Fair, unfair, didn't matter. Snoop Goblins. Uh, <laughs> this deck feels legit. It feels legit. That was, uh, that was beautiful. Well, all right. Be back with a wrap-up. So what do we learn this week about Snoop Combo Goblins and Modern and Good God, the deck's insane. We played a league. We went 5-0. We only dropped two games on our way to our five match wins. Uh, we played Unfair decks. We played Dredge like a million times. We 3-0 Dredge. We played Fair decks like Eldrazi and Humans. We were able to beat those decks as well. And... I think that we might be entering a world where, because of Conspicuous Snoop, Goblins might be Tier 1 in the modern meta. Like, this deck felt absolutely insane and super powerful and super good. So the thing I love about it is Goblins, they've already been decent in the modern format. They've already been, like, a solid Tier 2 tribe since we got Munitions Expert and some reprints about a year ago with Modern Horizons. That made the deck, like, a Tier 2 tribe. The problem with Goblins, as I've mentioned before, is they lose to unfair decks. Like, going wide and drawing drawing cards and doing all your cute goblin shenanigans. That's powerful if you're playing against just like some fair deck. You just outdraw them and outgrind them. But if your opponent's comboing off and modern is full of combo decks, you just can't win fast enough to beat like the turn three, turn four combo decks. Well, now goblins can still go log. They can still grind. They can still win those matchups. But if you play against Dredge, for example, which we did on repeat for some reason, you can also just combo them off where you just play a Snoop on turn two, play a Bogart Harbinger on turn three, go infinite and win the game. So now goblins goblins still can beat the fair decks and now they can beat the unfair decks as well which is where you ought to be for a legit deck in the format and i gotta say uh, if you had any doubts about the combo if you look at our wins i think nine of them were because of the snoop combo so that is how we won the game like that is our primary plan that is what happened very often we didn't have too many just like turn three kills but we had a bunch of turn four kills uh, and we played around removal a little bit which is one of the nice options being able to do that and uh, kind of pressure your opponent with other things until they tap out then combo off and win we were able to play some goblins off the top of our deck with snoop so all around this deck felt legit like i think goblins might be a legitimate top tier tribe in the format because of snoop and its power and its combo so i don't know i like goblins goblins are a sweet tribe and at least based on our experience today they are now also a very competitive tribe in the modern format so that's snoop goblins Cabo Goblins for the modern format. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.